What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to play a ranked match. And look, I am still number one, I guess. I'm tied for first. Guido Fubini tied me for 1911 rating, but I want sole, pro sole possession of first place. I'm also not sure what happens with weekly, weekly winners if there's a tie. I'm afraid I might go to him because uh, G is before N in the alphabet. <laughs> but um, So that's also how one I want to get past in rating. So I'm going to completely regret this if I lose this game and I'll lose a bunch of rating and lose my top spot. But I'm going to do it anyways. Um, I'm not sure what I want to play. I think I want to play Mono Energy Ranged. So I think... Yeah, that's what I'll do. And um, let's hope that this doesn't backfire. Ooh! Well, hello. It's Blinky. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, we're going two, three, and then we have Burn. We keep him bombarded, so it's good starting hand. Let's see what Blinky's playing. Decay. Turn one Ripper. Got it. All right. Ah, uh, Stormer is really cool. What do I want to sacrifice? I'll sacrifice the Bombard. Um, let's move. Let's put the Smuggler down there. You could very well languid the Smuggler. Okay, he moves back so he doesn't put pressure on me, which is... Which t probably tells me he has a, uh... A... What's it called? A languid. Not a languid, a soul steal. Now what do I want to do? Storm Runner, Autumn Unfortunate. I want to sacrifice. Spark can get rid of that. Let's get rid of the spark. Yeah. Let's get rid of the spark. And um, because I think the other two cards in my hand are much more valuable. I already sacrificed one bard, which isn't too good. And it's probably going to soul steal here. No, that's surprising. Surprise, he didn't. I guess he was expecting me to play like a forge or something. I don't know. To watch out because he might be able to do mean things. All right, let's. I don't have a great burn target right now, so I'm actually gonna not play the burn because I have a storm runner to play anyway. So I'll sacrifice the replica time for cards, and another automata forge is good. Um. Let's see. Uh, let's play and I wish I just more more resources. Let's move you up and play a storm runner. So you should slowly do a nice job. And there's another Oculus Ken. Now let's see. So definitely we're gonna need to probably put down a forge for protection next turn. He's moving up. So that's nice. We're going to probably take middle idle. Not middle idle, middle lane, which is really important. And let's see. I think I got a curse monger out. Okay, that's could be a problem because of cursing one of my guys and playing like brainless. Um, we're going to keep our structures. I could burn something. I'm probably going to burn this next turn. So I'm actually not going to do anything. And I'm going to sacrifice the Cannonetta for the forge. So put that there and move, move these guys up. And I don't think Blinky's playing any wacky stuff as Decay deck. He likes to keep it pretty simple. Um, it's creature heavy with Watcher and Necrogan. So I don't have to worry about like weird drain misplays and poison stuff probably. Hmm. I'll be honest, Blinky was not the person I wanted to see when I'm playing a match at number one rank. <laughs> okay. So unfortunately, my, that forge is gonna go down to one health. And there is, okay. And it'd be nice if he just stays the Blight Bearer in the same row as the Curse Monger, so I can poison the Curse Monger because I'm gonna burn the Blight Bearer maybe. So let's see. Blinky is thinking. 
I don't want Flinky to think. Okay. Cool. So, who machinated? Well, yeah, I'm machinating. I want to kill this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can play like an Oculus Cannon. This is going well for us. This is going well for us. So we'll play the Oculus Cannon and Machinated Sacrifice 1 Oculus Cannon. And do I draw another structure? I think I draw another structure because structures are really strong. Um, so let's go ahead and... Move you up, move you there, machinate, and Oculus Cannon. Okay. So now I draw another structure, forge or an Oculus Cannon. Another Oculus Cannon. Those are good with them. If I could draw, if I top deck, I'd bombard this turn. That'd be amazing. But. We're not completely safe. Brain lice on him. Okay, so he will die before he gets another attack off, unless I draw a bombard. I'll keep the Oculus Cannon. Um, I could burn you first. I think I'm definitely going to want to burn you. Even if I get a bombard, I don't think I'll play it this turn. So I think I'm going to burn so I can keep the Cannonetta, and maybe sacrifice the resources if I draw a 2 drop. So I will move you down. Um, I guess keep the gun out of, I don't know. First, let's make sure you're out of the way. I guess I'd rather be towards middle. Burn and keep the bounce dispersal, sacrifice for cards. Another storm runner, do I want to keep this guy here? He can move up, destroy him, but then I have this going off. So yeah, I would actually take that trade. I'm fine with that. If I move down, he probably wouldn't be able to destroy this. Whatever. I don't think it makes a big difference. I don't think he's going to move move up and destroy this. He might. Six is probably Witch Doctor. Okay, and is he going to move up? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, Now, here. I know I could play a Cannon Auto, but I really want to... I really want to bombard... Oh. Well, you guys have probably noticed that all the time in my videos, um, pretty often, somebody calls my name, you probably hear a uh, yell Noah in the background, either my mom or my dad. Yeah, because I'm needed for things. So, that's why I'm talking right now. I'm <laughs> talking over the video, because I have to fill this time, this silent time where I'm talking to my mom. So, yeah. And... My commentary is going to resume in just a second. <laughs> I I guess you guys rather hear this than just be left in the dark with like no commentary for for like 10 seconds or so. So, I'm going to come back now. Okay, it's probably time that I get another storm runner out and I guess a gun auto. All right, so I could have played a scout auto instead of the storm runner because that would uh, that would give this three attacks to destroy the blight bear. I'm not too worried about the blight bear though. I mean, we'll get a husk probably now, and now we'll get a more of a choice of what's a poison. Soul steel, okay. And there it goes. So I'm definitely about to balance dispersaling this turn. It's too risky to try to stop deck us. Bombard machinated. Even if I drew one of the cards right now, it's still probably balance dispersal this turn. Because that also means that he doesn't get a husk from this, most likely. Um, so let's get rid of the potion. I feel like that's not a huge deal against Decay. And... VD, keep you right in the middle. Make sure he only has one unit, one unit to poison. And 
I think that's good. So we're getting that forge has been doing a lot of work for us. We have a bunch of gun autos for it. Only one of the gun automatons I played myself. And a scout automaton will make them all a little little stronger. Okay. So he's staring at a storm runner. Um it's probably a big problem for him. If he damn curses it, he would lose his minor shambler. Hmm. Okay, so he's poisoning that one. That's interesting. Maybe he's going to play Witch Doctor right here. And he wants to get the husk. But... Interesting that he wanted to poison this one because... The Oculus Cannon gets to... Go to zero countdown. Who's back up? I, hmm. Maybe he's not playing a Witch Doctor? I don't know. He's only three cards. We're pretty even in cards and resources. But especially with that storm runner there, I probably have an advantage. If I can top deck a bombard soon, let's play with like an Oculus Cannon, that'd be really cool. And he does play Witch Doctor. It's not next to this, so a little strange why he would just let this thing go off, but whatever. And what do I want to do? Let's sacrifice the Replicaton for scrolls. Iron Whip. Uh, I can Iron Whip you to deal 2 damage there and then you die with a burn. If I play the Scout Automaton, they all get 3 attack. Which means... I can get you down to 1 health. But that's 1 health and that's not dying. Let's see. Um... Let's go ahead and I can get you to go off with a poison, but that would mean you could poison two things. So I don't want that to happen, and you're next to the witch doctor. So I'll go like this. That kills that, and then I can move like this, and I will play a Cannonetta and a Scout Automaton. And now, we might be able to win the game soon. Because we have stronger attacking creatures now. Okay, and he can destroy this Automaton. So let's draw another Bombard. A Bombard and a Machinade would be perfect. Not sure if that last play was perfect. Um, it was a little. Eh. I'd like to. Now I'm kind of in a position where I really want a bombard, a machinated, or a bounce dispersal some way of destroying this witch doctor. But it's not totally bad. Okay, curse monger, maybe a two drop, watcher. Okay, that's not a huge problem just yet. Bounce dispersal, that's perfect. That's what I wanted. Let's see if I, I have enough resources so I can afford to sack for scrolls though. Um, I'll sacrifice the smuggler for scrolls. Oh, well, I'm supposed to, let's just get rid of the witch doctor. Take the two damage hit and destroy destroy that. Move you there. You there. And I think we'll call it a turn. There's no, it doesn't matter that this is also getting poisoned because it was already poisoned so it's going to die anyways. It's gonna die harder. And if we need to, we have a, and we have a storm runner attacking all these this this these guys now, which is really cool. And my my heart's racing when I'm when I'm playing a match against Blinky. And I played I played a lot of matches against Blinky. He tends to win the majority of them. He won the deck wars. Um, you can find that on my channel and his channel. We played deck wars against each other. He won by the smallest of margins in the last game, but it was a fun, fun series. But in ranked, I think he wins more often than not. He doesn't win overwhelmingly though. Like I do have a few wins off him, I believe. 
Um, and it looks like this one is in my favor at the moment. So how about that Microsoft and Mojang news? I'm currently recording this 5.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 10th, Wednesday. And right now the news for Mojang being bought by, micro my, by Microsoft is out there, but it's not official and it's very unconfirmed. So that's all I have to say. I don't know, maybe in the future you're watching this and you know exactly what happened. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice the gun automaton. Ooh, machinated. Uh, so I guess we machinated... We can do a lot of things this turn, actually. Um, I guess we, yeah, uh, machinated would be fine. And I will... Can I win? Three, four... Four... I might be able to win. That's four, and then I iron whip this, so that's four, and then I have two attack coming in on this idol. And then I machinate to make it seven, and then iron whip to make it eight, and I would not win, so I don't think I could win this turn. Okay, so let's just machinate uh, you there, like that. Um, I want to deal more damage to the bottom metal now, and I guess we can oculus cannon machinated the next turn i could burn this life stealer or spark it or whatever so monkey is surrounding because it looks like the game is lost for him but well played and i'm very happy right now because i'm at 1924 rating um and i have first place by a nice margin now uh, go on, update. Update me to first place. I want sole possession. Yes. I mean, Guida's a cool guy. He's in the Badger Guild. But I want sole possession in the first place. So that was cool. Um, I guess that'll be it for today. Subscribe for more content. Like the video if you enjoyed. And uh, keep on scrolling, scrollers. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. And send your top plays to me, nerfthinja at gmail.com. I'll see you next time.